Hello, Divine Feminines. How are you? I am back to do a short reading for you today. And I'm in a dark and stormy mood today. So we're going to use these dark cards. And we also have a bunch of noise outside. Let's see what comes up. What? I think I'm going to get some message cards. What does the masculine want to say? Let's do a channel message here. Let's see what comes through for us. Oh, the lovers and queen of cups in reverse. Do you still love me? Do you still love me? I know you did love me, but do you still love me? I'm hopeful. Oh, two of my favorite cards. Oh my gosh. I love when I shuffle on camera and it comes up like this. Well, Queen of Pentacles. You are going to get some messages. Wow, these are beautiful cards. I think that this masculine has been so slow, so stubborn, so incredibly. Wow, so yesterday we had 6-6 six, six, and we have it again today. I love this Seven of um, Cups. I think it's so cool. Yeah, so he's slow. He is so slow to come back. What are we going to do with you, DM? Look at this. Look at the message. The bird sitting on top of it. I love these cards. And you see the Taurus symbol there, the North Node. The North Node shall bring a lot of change. And this beautiful magician card. And this card. <laughs> They're like works of art. So. What? Mm, I just saw the sea serpent. What comes around goes around. We have figured this out. We have learned a karmic lesson. I broke your heart and then my heart was broken without you even having to lift a finger. And I see now how wise you are. And you told me Hmm, look at those chakra colors, that flame, wow. You told, stubborn, stubborn. You told me, you told me, but I didn't listen. The octopus is a really interesting card because it's like formless and shapeless. And in a lot of ways, it is what the divine feminine represents. It's a chaos to some degree, but it's also not choosing, right? So he didn't choose you. You mean the world to me. He didn't choose you at some point. I've cried over you. Now that's the spilling of emotions. I can't get you out of my head. What if you don't accept me for who I really am? And that's more about him. I know I hurt you, I never intended to. I miss kissing you. I miss you. I pretend I don't care because I care too much. Yes.
I feel like because of that, the gardener's outside, that there's, like, he tries to lose himself in work. And he tries to avoid feeling anything. Overcoming addiction, karmic, soulmate, karmic relationship. Not enough, the butterfly. So this karmic relationship has ended and has moved to the next phase. Healing the inner child and growth around, am I enough? So he's fixing his lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, egos, issues, and jealousy. This is what he has learned. Wow from the karmic and we have the bow and arrow once again thank you spirit for being so consistent i'm gonna get a few of these cards hmm. we've got really strong energies here so he has healed he is healing and part of this healing is bringing back these past life energies there is, it's like when the tears were shed over you, it's this, this is such a beautiful analogy they're giving me. Um, it's like these tears were very cathartic and the tears themselves were like activators for him. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for growth. When people, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. Remember love is the greatest healer. Sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. This is the message. He doesn't want you to know that he knows this freedom. There's nothing stopping you. He doesn't want you to know that he knows this is sacred. And there's a reason for this. It's because he's a fearful that you will have power over him. You are very, very powerful. You are showing up with, okay, so follow me here. This Earth Mother, Queen of Pentacles energy, and the Magician in Reverse with the Elephant, right? The Elephant is a very feminine energy in a lot of ways. It's like the Keeper of the Eternal Flame, the Akashic Record, but also just a, a really great memory. So I pulled Isis energy. The goddess brings sacred knowledge, unlimited healing, and soul reclamation, and then full soul. So he left basically Isis for <laughs> fool's gold. Love or above, I'm curious about what you're doing. Saturn energy, crystalline frequency. Have you forgotten me? Magician. Okay, so it's a really important right now that you transmute any of these negative frequencies that are coming in because he will have to go up to reach you if that's what he wants to do. And I know that's not really what you want to hear, but let's channel something. DM to DF. Oh, I set my timer. I hope it doesn't go off. Okay. Um, you mean the world to me. I'm still hopeful, but I don't see how we ever make this actually form into something great. I think you know, but I had a lot of things to overcome. I went after every shiny object I could find. And the truth is that I had already found my greatest blessing. I, I think you said to me once something like that you felt connected to me on all levels or you never had felt this way before. 
And the truth is, I felt the same thing, but I could not say that to you. I had to pretend for myself that I didn't care because I was so afraid to get hurt again. And being with you is like, I can't even describe it. I know it's different than all of the other relationships, but all of the other relationships are easy. I can control them. I don't have to be afraid. And also, people don't judge me. But with you, it's different. With you, you are powerful and your energy is really intense when I'm around it. I can feel you activating my heart. And I feel like we've known each other before. I get this weird sense of deja vu. And then I think, wow. I'm not enough for this person. I'm not enough to make her happy. How could she even be interested in me? And then I pretend like I don't care because the worst thing in the world is feeling like rejected. And like I could put my whole heart into your hands. And I mean, I have, but you just don't know it, I don't think. And so I act stupid or I act like I don't know what's going on. And really, I can tell that there's something very wise about you. There's something very special about this relationship. And I hate being away from you. Part of me is afraid that you're manipulating me the way I manipulate other people. And, you know, I learned these things and I hate feeling my feelings because people have used them against me, especially my mother. And so I think it's just easier to numb the pain and to run away or to mess with people's emotions so I'm the one in control but you you see through me you are like this literal goddess and I really hope and I really have faith and I really want you to know that I'm gonna choose to try to show you that I care and that I love you and I'm going, I'm not all the way healed and I haven't mastered everything yet, but I want to talk to you again and I want to clear up some of the stuff that's gone on and to let you know that this wasn't all in your head. So I hope when I come back that you'll be kind to me and you'll be in high vibration and you'll be understanding and let me talk and accept me for who I am. Because I have learned that I am enough. I'm learning that. It's not all the way done and I still get triggered, but I don't want to miss out on this chance with you. All right, well, that's what I have for you, Divine Feminine. What a beautiful message about their healing and um what's to come so give it a lot of thought about what kind of person you want to be and what kind of vibration you want to be and can you forgive can you be playful again can you let down the guard around your heart and if you'd like a reading with me my readings are open until the 25th and then i will be closing them for a month i also do a lot of energy work chakra healing journeys twin flame um, healings and candle ceremonies. Those are on Etsy and Fiverr. Thanks. Bye for now.